Ta Ta Teng, or traditional Hong Kong style cafes can be found all over the city. And with their typically efficient, if sometimes a little curt, service of simple feel good dishes in a down at heel old school environment, this style of eatery offers one of the most quintessential Hong Kong dining experiences to be had anywhere. The sheer amount of these cafes makes it hard for individual ones to stand out from the crowd, but one that does just that is Chun Hing Coffee Shop in Happy Valley. This local institution has been serving the neighborhood since all the way back in 1951, and in this episode we're going to check it out and soak up the classic ambience while seeing how the food measures up to the reputation. This is Sam Eats It. Hey guys, thank you as always for joining me. Today we're in Happy Valley and a trip to this neighborhood just isn't really complete without a visit to Chung Hing Coffee Shop behind me. But before we go and head in there, let's recap on the history of Cha Cha Tang in general. In the first part of the 20th century, Western food was considered a delicacy and it was reserved exclusively for the well-off at high-end restaurants. In the post-war period, however, cafes like Chung Hing behind me and others around the city started serving kind of like a local twist on Western food with a sensibility and price point aimed at local working class people. And these cafes, lo and behold, took off. And today, a visit to a Chan Chan Teng is an experience that is extremely common, sometimes even daily, for thousands of Hong Kongers around the city. This place is one of the most famous Chan Chan Teng in all of the city, not just because of its age, but because through the decades, it's enjoyed patronage from artists, media personalities, and various other celebrities. So without further ado, let's get over there and enjoy our own experience in this traditional old school Hong Kong cafe. Let's do it. We've ordered a specialty uh, of this place, which is a pineapple bun. I'll explain what a pineapple bun is uh, a little bit later. It's got lunch and meat and an egg inside of it, apparently. It's delicious. And we've also gone for a uh, afternoon tea set. Now, what is afternoon tea? Afternoon tea is it's basically the local equivalent to lunch halfway between lunch and dinner. Uh, afternoon tea, it's usually served from the, about 2 p.m. till 5 or 6 p.m. at most cha cha tang around the city. And uh, it's the time when, I suppose traditionally, it's a low point. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's kind of like a low in, um, in, uh, in patronage. So, uh, they offer lower prices for these kind of like A, B, C, D, or 1, 2, 3, 4 sets. Uh, and it's just like, it's a favorite, particularly of uh, older people in the city. You know, they've got lots of free time, they'll come here. Uh, gab over the milk tea and you know have a, a, a pineapple bun or something delicious and it's just uh, it's kind of like a quintessential Hong Kong institution this afternoon tea time so uh, yeah we're here in time for that it's about 3 p.m. now or going up to 4 uh, so yeah that's what we've ordered and it should be with us shortly I can't wait uh, the smell in here is quite good from the kitchen Thank you. Uh, Laita, okay. and this is Cha Zhao. Excellent. Wait, oh, thank you. Ngasai. Oh, that looks good. It's very good. Mm, yum. Yum, yum, yum. So, seeing as we're at a Cha Cha Teng, which means tea restaurant, let's talk about the tea. Uh, so, in uh, local Cantonese culinary tradition, I guess you could say, there are two 
main types of uh, milk tea that they have. You know, the Hong Kong milk tea. One is Lai Cha uh, and the other is Cha Zhao. And you may have heard me order them a couple of minutes ago. Now, the only difference between these things is that Lai Cha is made with evaporated milk and Cha Zhao is made with condensed milk. And the difference between evaporated and condensed milk, they're both dehydrated milk, uh, but uh, condensed milk has an ungodly amount of sugar in it, so it's uh, more thick and it's a lot more of a richer taste compared to Lai Tao, which is evaporated milk that you can, you know, add sugar to to taste. So with both of these, if you have sugar in, but particularly the Cha Zhao, it's very important to stir it thoroughly to get all the condensed milk coming up throughout the drink so you can taste it. Otherwise, it's going to be very bland and then at the bottom, it's just going to be unbelievably sweet. And I, I fell foul to this the first couple of times I had Cha Zhao. I didn't really get uh, what was so amazing about it until uh, like the third time when somebody told me you have to stir so please stir uh, but yeah that is uh, tea in a nutshell of the Cha Tan Ten. they come in these really thick mugs and the thick mugs are thought to keep the heat in more and uh, yeah let's try the Cha Zhao I love this stuff let's see how it uh, measures up to stuff that I've had before oh my gosh that is incredibly incredibly sweet and moorish it's uh it's not tea it's basically a candy drink this uh, it might give you a bit of a sugar rush but it is so delicious and such a quintessential part of hong kong food culture and now let's try the light out i'm going to um obviously give this a bit of a stir too now the thing about both teas as well is that each cha chan teng kind of has its own tried and true method of making it and uh you know with varying degrees of secrecy of the, the recipe, how much milk compared to tea, how they boil, prepare, put the tea in. All these are pretty unique to each Cha Cha Ten that you're going to get around the city. So that makes it interesting and it makes each cup of tea different. So let's try the Lai Cha. Let's try this. Yeah, it's lovely. Haven't put any sugar in that. I sometimes just like to have my Hong Kong milk tea without any sugar in it. But it's lovely, it's nice and rich. That evaporated milk gives it like a bit of creaminess. It's um, it's very luxe milk tea, I'd say, as an Englishman. Uh, but yeah, beautiful. The tea here is very, very good. And that's a great place to start when you're talking about Cha Cha Tang. Now let's move on to the food. Okay, so first up, we are gonna try this unbelievably decadent looking pineapple bun uh, with lunch and meat and egg in it. Now, pineapple buns are commonplace in Chan Chan Teng. Uh, not always with these embellishments, but and they're called pineapple buns because basically they have nothing really to do with pineapple. There's no pineapple in the ingredients. It's just that this uh, crust kind of looks like the texture of a pineapple. Uh, and this crust is made with sugar. So it gives the pineapple bun kind of like this slightly crunchy, sweet, almost cookie-esque feel to it. So it's, you know, a little bit, uh, again, sweet. It's all about the sweetness and pleasing the tongue in these places. Um, not all pineapple buns are created equal. So let's dig into this and see how it measures up. It looks absolutely fantastic. Yum. Oh, let's do it. Mm. Oh my god, that is delicious. Oh, lunch and meat, fried egg. What can go wrong? Oh, it is. It's as good as it sounds. The egg just oozes inside. The uh, the yolk is just oozing all over everything, and it just makes for a sweet, decadent treat. Oh my gosh. Ah. That is seriously, seriously good. Oh my God, I'm gonna be in a food coma in no time with this. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Yummy. Okay, next let's move on to the satay beef noodles, which is exactly what it says on the tin. It's satay beef with these instant noodles, which are pretty ubiquitous. Uh, in Hong Kong, especially at Chao Chan Tang's. So yeah, let's see how this is. Let's see how it is. It looks decidedly less decadent than the uh, the pineapple one. Let's give it a whirl. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. 
really simple flavors. You can taste that satay in the meat, kind of soaked into the noodles, that broth. And it's just simple, really delicious, nice tasting food for a, a little pick me up if you're out with friends and you want something to tide you over until dinner. Really nice, can't complain at all. This is uh, good quality food, yum. So that's it, uh, I'm done and I'm stuffed. Uh, but that's because I had two things. I think if you come and order something, one item from the menu like a normal person, you're gonna be just fine. And that's why this is afternoon tea because it's a lovely little pick me up or it's supposed to be between lunch and dinner. And you know, just in general, eating in this Chan Chan Tank, you really feel a sense of the history because uh, even though it's been renovated, of course, since it opened back in 1951, it still retains some of its old character, its old ambience, its old sensibility. And you can just feel the history when you're dining in it. And the food is great quality too. I mean, this is, it's just delicious. So all in all, it's been an absolute pleasure to experience Chun Hing for myself. So I'm gonna soak up some more of the atmosphere, uh, maybe sip on more of this tea until I finish it, and then I'll get out of here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Sam Eats It. Cheers. And that concludes our time at Chung Hing Coffee Shop. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if so, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, share this video with all your foodie friends. Thanks for watching. And until the next feast, take care and stay hungry.